Video 232 and Finns are really doing well for the Welsh International Tango Festival and looking good for the end of the year so if you want to book on I will put a link down below or how, uh, the website where you can go to see Nick and Deanna, Sue and Sean, Island Dance Wizards, Eduardo, Free Live Bands and us and uh, to give you an idea of what we'll be teaching, well not what we'll be teaching, but sort of things that we do teach. Yes. Today we were finishing out a sort of two week theme on heroes and bereavers. Uh, please hit like and subscribe, um, thumbs up. Obviously if you don't, if you dislike the video, dislike it. Probably because we're giving away Tango Professional Secrets like we did <laughs> last week. Um, but if you do want to have a look at week, last week's recap video, we will help you understand some of the content for today. So last week we did look at uh, some heroes with some burritos in that. Today we looked at some more advanced experimental form of burritos in your hero. So we start off with some basic hero technique. We're doing these in a more open embrace today. So we're taking the side steps to the left, pivoting the follower forward into the forward step, another side step, back pivot around the leader. And we talked about the ways that leaders can turn, use things like clutches and enroske, just sort of stepping around just pivoting on one foot and using the follower to turn them around, or even doing heroes in our own uh, sense of the word and matching the follower, and therefore um, pivoting around a common centre. We first of all just built on a burrito we did last week, which was as the follower goes into the back step of the hero, I use my right foot to uh, catch the burrito on the follower's right foot mover through, then go into the poada and passada and we can continue the hero or come out. Because we're in a slightly more open embrace it means we might have to stretch a little bit more as a leader so this gives us time to do maybe a bit of a decoration as a leader so as she's going around I can really drop my weight down, do a little circle, pick it up and if I straighten up at the end it adds a little bit of dynamic to it. So that's the first reason we looked at in the hero. The second two involve sultadas which Dick and Deanna are teaching at the Tango Festival. Probably different saltadas to what we're doing yes. today. Um, so saltada means going solo. So the first one we looked at was from the uh, hero, it follows on her back step and her side step. As she goes through into the forward step, I match her and go into an almost Americana walk. I'm going to continue leading her with my chest and my left hand. I'm going to drop my right hand to my side as she turns around to drop that hand as I turn and just pivot it on my right leg. She will continue doing her hero step, so she'll go for the side step, she'll end in the back step phase, and I've got the burrito here. Again, sandwich, broader, passada, and we can come out of that. So that's quite a nice little variation, but do it from this direction just so you can see it from a different camera angle. We can go uh, back step, here's the forward step. Match her with the Americana, continue to lead her as I drop the arm, hit it in, finding that burrito there. And that's a nice variation to do. Uh, it doesn't work if you're doing one of these styles of tango where you lean on your partner or if you're really clinging on, with, uh, well, if your life depended on it. <laughs> uh, so the last one we did, this is quite advanced, it's very tricky to do. Once you get it, it's actually easier than the previous one, but to get it is harder. So this is going from the back stage of the hero, the back step phase. So if we've got the side step, the forward step phase, and here's the back step phase, what I'm going to do here is match my follower step, I'm going to drop my right hand, this time I leave my left hand where it is, just to hold the follower in place. And I'm already turning on the fall of my right foot, come around and there's my left foot ready for this the reader here. This is surprisingly tricky to do just because when you do it in a dance situation with music, the speed you need to do to be able to turn mm -hmm. this and pick up the foot and get the placement of it right is, as we say, tricky. Hence why it's sort of an advanced level move. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed that. Um, please book on for the festival if you mm -hmm. want to come. Um, 
you want to come to our classes and experience our teaching every week, we are online for the near future at least. Um, we hope you're taking care of yourselves and keeping your family safe and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching this Urban Tango Nights recap. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the logo. You can find more of our class summaries down here and other videos of us dancing tango over here. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Meta. Links are in the description below. And you can also subscribe to our newsletter using the link below.